ปาดนิยายเนี่ยก็กว่าเปียเลยมอสิโตตะเกนี่นะแล้วเนี่ยเริ่มมอสิโตตะเกกว่าซาวะที่มอสิโตมาเวลาเอาจะเลยแล้ว
His father arranged for him to be married to Luo Yi. The pair tower sit on his own door, a pane, a leg of brother, Luo Yi Singmo. Luo, the seventeen year old daughter of another prosperous local farmer. The well, our Danny, what sin we need, or give it up. A common, a pile of blue plot of while opening the dunag in a cave. Come on, Mimi, while Maochi, poor Nagini, while Tura Pradapon, I look at a cat or a yellow. But Mao demonstrated his rebellious streak at a young age. And refused to honor the arranged marriage, causing something of a controversy in the Shaoshan area. And as a result of this disagreement, the teenage Mao temporarily left his father's farm. Although he returned before very long, Mao was growing up at a time when China was experiencing momentous change, like Korea and Japan to the east. East, China had first come into contact with European traders and religious missionaries in the 16th and early 17th centuries. And like them, the Chinese had quickly become wary of the newcomers and had restricted their contacts with them to one or two ports in the southeast of the country, where a tiny amount of trade was conducted. It continued like this for nearly two centuries, with China remaining largely closed to a world. Close to the one of her or how that could have let you go. I Loma, but a Prada, Keloma, Muklova, Qua, Janema, Mopaniki, a top wet or Tavia, and Monagin, Palama, Quad, or the Dorsian. Which was modernizing without it. It remained highly conservative in its religious, social, and political value. The Penis of Don at Runa Care, but a Glula Pado, a Tabuta Bar, or Kama Pado, or a Lula to the Lu de Pa. Changing little and continuing to be ruled by an emperor and a closed government of imperial rituals and administrators as it had been for centuries. The but by the mid 19th century, China again, like Japan and Korea, could no longer prevent the Europeans, with their modern warships, guns and industrial power, from interfering in their countries. With the Opium Wars of 1839 to 1842 and 1856 to 1860, Britain forced China to end its self-imposed isolation, following which... <laughs> China 
common ba mun ni wadin pa ne hedge hot level ta to wadin ba na ta mu ra te ya ne ba China experienced a flood of European contact and with it came not just British opium but ideas about different types of government new economic developments and all manner of technological innovation the ba mun ni wadin pa ne he ne de me he de wala ta gura wa hedge hot level ta de wala ta ku wa ku te me ge ta pa ta pa me ge ดอไว้ทักโนโลยีที่ผ่านมาให้ต่อสู้กันเราเนี่ยเอาเนี่ยเกิดเอาว่าตะปูโพเทตฟันเดนนอยนะคอมมอนเนี่ยเกิดเอ
As Mao entered his teenage years, he was already reading about these political ideas. He was particularly interested in calls for a democracy to be established in China. To replace the imperial government. And also the Republican writings of Sun Yat Sen, who had become a figurehead for the Republican movement within China. He would soon see these desires confirmed. Just as Mao was starting at a new school in Changsha, the country was entering into a period of rapid change. Regional famines had struck parts of China in the late 1900s and early 1910s. And this, combined with numerous regional uprisings throughout the country and growing calls for a more representative government, led to an army revolt in October 1911. <laughs> First, the imperial government of Emperor Pu Yi, who was just a six-year-old child, tried to address the grievances of the dissenters, but it soon became apparent that a more drastic shift would be necessary. After weeks of negotiations, it was determined in February 1912 that the emperor would abdicate and a new republic of China would be established with the imperial officer Yuan Shikai serving as its first president of a national government. <laughs> Thus, an empire which had been in existence for centuries had ended. It was, however, very unclear in the mid-1910s exactly in what direction China's politics would now head. These were striking developments, and ones which Mao had not been entirely removed from. When the conflict erupted late in 1911, he had enlisted in the rebel army as an 18-year-old recruit. Now, in the spring of 1912, he simply returned to school, and it was around this time that he first started reading about the idea of socialism. เอาเงินเอาคอมมอนเนี่ยมาเนี่ยพินิจฉัยก็ตอเนี่ยตะเลที่ก็ได้ชอบตะเลบลอดบลอดเนี่ยว่าปูดอดอดลอดเนี่
Ada cuma dia pale kini sya tu betul le radical form of government ni. Kau ada cuma le dua ko mana. Betul le ada cuma le dua ko dia paham. Kau dah kita kita kau le kini kau dua orang kau betul le dua ko dia paham. Betul tak tu le le. And communism as more radical forms of government. If he remained unconvinced that this was the best approach for China at that time, meanwhile his education continued. He determined at some point around 1913 that he would become a teacher, and so he enrolled in the first normal school of. Yeah, we taught you all. We taught you all. We man, look at what I did. We taught all. Oh, that carry back all the communist society. Oh, we do all the other one. All the communist part, part the rule of all the other one. Oh, we now we tap in now. We that. Oh, we tap in now. We do more Brazilian. Oh, we. Jadi kita kita nak buat pentas jual sahaja dah, kita nak buat pentas jual sahaja dah. 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 Kita nak buat pentas more pivotally, in terms of his later activities, Mao was increasingly exposed to the socialist. Socialist ideas he had first encountered a few years earlier, and over time. He began to find that he agreed more with what he read, particularly so as the environment of the first normal school was one of radical political thought, especially during China's first forays into representative government. In 1917, Mao moved to Peking, now Beijing, where one of his main influences at this time, Yang Changji, had taken a job at the Peking University. Here, Mao also took a job. As a library assistant. The lekini mau ni, kamu le mau ni mau le bar lekini la ni. Betul la le. Kamu ni ta batu lo le ta mau lo kah le library le. Pikin mau, pikin ni wana pikin mau no. Le pikin le le mana le wek kopi ni no. Le mau ta le library tu pelak le wana pilih mau no. Ada siapa yang ni mau no? But he was increasingly moving in circles of individuals who favoured socialism and communism or Marxism as a solution to China's political woes. Even with the establishment of the Republic in 1912, the country had continued to experience turbulence as conservative and liberal forces fought amongst each other. Pada dah jalan wah pudar lorang nak ulang lah, cerita lorang kau dah le labour de, awak dah conservative de labour ni, wakhi pun ni dulu dah jalan dah, wah terlalu bola, dah cerita labu lah, kan mana terlalu kau ni, pada terlalu ni dulu dah terlalu bola, dia dah dulu ni. And regional warlords and power groups exercised quasi regional independence throughout the country. Marxism appealed to many at this time because the Bolsheviks, a branch of Russian communism, had secured control of the Russian government in the autumn of 1917. The Taruni at Duran and Nakan at Rudy Makatru, Cop Halena, the Rudon, the Glue, the Glue, the Nagana did it to Eva. The Dawater Water No, the Red Log, the Edo, old the Blila Toil, the Chakora Valana, at Edo, old Lobatella. Come on, Edo, the Chakora, the Chakon, the Mikoy, and let the Rudayta Suni, the Runana, old Blue Yahone. Ked of a Mitea of Letter, Europe, Posanima, not Tala Europe, Mikwa, Cold or Ruda Tonagana, at Terani, the Lachola, and Lekova. No, a clone, a book, the Tolo, the Lada. นี่มีความเกลียดชังยุทธศาสตร์เนี่ยอันดับบุตรที่ละจะต้องยุโรปเนี่ยมันเอาเงินตระหนักได้ยุโรปได้หนี้เลยท่านเพื่ออะไรเ
autocratic imperial government. Mao was increasingly leaning towards that viewpoint himself in 1918 and 1919, an outlook which was compounded when he experienced the bourgeois hostility of the Beijing upper and middle class towards a country boy like himself. It was in Beijing that Mao's awakening as a political radical fully occurred. China was drifting ever further into political anarchy in the late 1910s, as a buoyant nationalist movement led by Sun Yat-sen sought to rejuvenate the republic in its infancy, which the nationalists perceived as being governed by a weak, conservative regime, with too many links to the old imperial past. In parts of the country, the government could exercise its authority, but in others, it was little more than a government in name only. <laughs> This instability was augmented when the Chinese government failed to secure the former German concession of Shandong at the Versailles peace negotiations in Paris following the end of the First World War. The nationalists considered it an affront to national pride when this piece of mainland China was instead granted to Japan. A nation which had been exercising its strength across East Asia since the late 19th century, when it had modernized in a far more successful manner than China, and the Shandong controversy was a direct cause of a major student protest which occurred in Beijing. <laughs> On the 4th of May 1919, this was driven by a younger generation of political activists like Mao, who were tired of China's seeming impotence on the world stage. And ตรุอะตะกิกอทิรกอตะตะกิกอเลกะเดกะเดกลานิปวะบีบุจะเซอะคุเนเวนะกินิอาเวดะเอ่อเตวะละตรุกอเนเกลโอเกตะโลคอก
is generally seen as the origins of the Communist Party of China. The events of 1919 led many young Chinese people who were interested in politics to increasingly turn their backs on the Western liberals of Britain, France, and America who had betrayed them on Shandong, and increasingly to turn towards the Marxism and Leninism that was gradually winning the Russian Civil War and cementing its control over Russia. The British, the Germany, ขมาเนี่ยตอลาตาเอาหลอกว่าตาลอเลยตรุตาลอได้เลยเฮียเลยพูดก็บ่เนี่ยกว่าเตียร์ผ่านเนี่ยผ่านเราว่าแต่ว
Mao was one of the first of the Chinese communists to also join the Nationalist Party in the belief that the conservative Chinese political establishment would. The opinion sector and Mao and come up one. Only be overthrown if the nationalists and the communists worked in league with each other. The two other communists who are in the middle of the world are not the same as 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 such, he spent much of the 1920s living in the nationalist stronghold of Guangzhou province and working as an organizer and propagandist for both the communists and the nationalists simultaneously. And throughout this period, Mao was gaining a greater appreciation of the struggles of the Chinese peasantry throughout the country and the strength in sheer numbers which they had if they were won over to the communist cause. As such, the early and mid-1920s were formative, if somewhat unremarkable, years in Mao's career. This all began to change in 1926. <laughs> With the death of Sun Yat-sen in 1925, Chiang Kai-shek had taken over the leadership of the nationalists. By this time, his party, the Kuomintang, had control over large parts of southern China, but the country was still highly fragmented with the conservative government of the republic holding back. A common penetrator to honey, what a conservative republic. Come on, but tell at the bleak road of Walla Tati. Come on, it are tethered to the common call a republic, the conservative more. Come on, a girl grow their pane, a girl daddy, but do la more. Come on, put up rather, and I get a national leash, the communia room by that too low, whatever what to do in the Ava more. Come on, come on, it are Rutani, the Rodani, Edo, not to have a da, the Wadakolova. ตามมุนเนี่ยตาลอดตรุตามมุนตาลอดเนี่ยเออนอทเวราเวราคือคอยอย่างหมอไม่มีเลยจอปาหรือนอทเวราเวอร์วิลิแต่ประตอเขาเ
was effectively ended by Chiang Kai-shek, who had grown wary of the exp- A common Expanding power of the communists and the role Russia wished to play in China. Once the conservative regime in Beijing was done away with, the result was a split itself within the Nationalist Party in 1927. Between Chang's right leaning nationalists and a left leaning faction which wished to accommodate the communist. Communists, these events are typically seen as the beginning of the Chinese Civil War, which would last for over 20 years. In the summer of 1927, Chiang Kai-shek's newly ascendant Kuomintang began a crackdown on communists throughout China. Persons were killed, and the party was suppressed in many places. Mao's reaction to this major setback and the inception of civil war between the nationalists and the communists was to retreat with several hundred followers into the wilderness. Around the Jinggang Mountains, on the border of Hunan Province. It was the beginning of a long period of guerrilla warfare, during which the Communist Party, with tacit aid from Russia, sought to disrupt the rule of the nationalists in anticipation of mass urban revolts by... Workers throughout the country against the new government. These were often tough years for Mao. His wife and sister were beheaded by the nationalists in 1930. The... So in his new life as a guerrilla fighter in rural China, he had formed a relationship with He Zhen, whom He married soon after Yang Kai Hui was killed. It was also around this time that he determined on a new course. Instead of waiting for a revolt of the Chinese urban proletariat, he would attempt the same strategy as had brought the Chinese nationalists to power, building up a territory which he would control and expand outwards. In February 1930, Mao, who by now was one of the senior commanders of the Chinese Communist Movement, 
established the Southwest Jiangxi Provincial Soviet Government. In Jiangxi province, although the nationalists controlled most of the country, for a few years here, in the early 1930s, Mao established a Chinese Soviet state in Jiangxi, with him serving as the chairman. The Red Army had also expanded was now under the overall control of Zhou Enlai, with the wider Chinese Communist Party focusing attentions on Jiangxi as a safe base for them in the early 1930s. Indeed, Mao, Enlai, and the Red Army saw off several efforts by Chiang Kai-shek. <laughs> กบัดเดวะชะคิเซมะกบัดดูลาปัวชะคิเซลานิคอมมอนตีกอนิกบัดเกดะคอมมูนิเยดะมะตะเลชะคิเซออนินะวะเนไดโอโลจีตะเลเ
কী ফ্লোরা গেলে মুই না হয় খামা কবা চি ফ্লোরা গেলে টানালে লাগে চি ফ্লোরা গেলা মেমে লুয়া দু We chose the latter, and the resulting events have become part of Communist Party law. In October 1934, Communist forces, consisting of 86,000 troops, 15,000 personnel, and 35 women. In October 1934, อ๋อขวกละขวกละคือโทอวันนี้มาสกวดาขวกละคือโทดอแล้วก็จานอกจานได้เวดาตะบอตาลอคอมมานเลวาเกตสุวันนี้มาอวดาหึอวดาตะก
The months after the Long March saw a curious drift in Chinese politics towards the rapprochement between the communists and the nationalists. For years, the nationalist government of Chiang Kai-shek had been dealing with problems on multiple fronts. The Tulu Komacha Kesari Bala Duane, what Chilaru, Lagoa Takura, La Kurimijima, Nagami Miller, Emil Masito, Mamila Chakesaru, Penecaru, where bad the weather to Japan, when it's a pan and target by Chula, Henola, the Guru La Mone, the Pala Pura Lalaga, and Oda Duila, but the weather, the Rukora Bene Tadida Yawala. As well as the communists, there was the perhaps greater problem posed by the Empire of Japan and its ambitions to dominate the Far East politically and militarily. This had already resulted in the invasion of Manchuria and the establishment of the puppet state of Manchu Kuo in the early 1930s. But, as the years went by, it was clear that the emperor's government in Tokyo had ambitions for an even greater land grab in China. Accordingly, many within the nationalist movement believed it would be best to put aside their differences with the communists for the foreseeable future and form a coherent opposition to the impending Japanese attack. And for their part, Mao and his followers were encouraged to do the same by Moscow. Thus, during the course of 1935 and 1936, <laughs> Mamila Chakisa out in our candies in a list of one a tatinic mamila through one of Bamedi Mogisila, the Penichak Donado, but a touch of a Americana, the Leguro de Pala. Ne Cobble Japan, that's what I'm more do so do more hella do it, come on through Connie, near the Kiki, the Kiki Loy, Oconino, Baki Duni, Tewa through what through Gold, Tewa Chakis and a money. The Kia to Baki Matko, that are to go back to what at Japan or money. The middle of my money come out to Nimamo. The Lota Higi Baba Kuro, the time of Hamon Moscone. They were Chucky Sene, they were that, Molly Kimat, what a Chucky say. Come on, you roll in the part, they were that, Chucky Sene, my comma. The key and let us all of love, according to Kimat go with that. Hm, the glad that they look, Matima will lock him at Goramo. Come on, a Kimat, one a couple of the pie head to go home, a Kimat go. Mao's communists and Chiang Kai shek's nationalists were once again drifting towards an alliance of convenience. The drive towards doing so was accelerated in July 1937 when the Japanese again invaded China and proceeded to militarily occupy many of the major cities along its eastern coast, massacring tens of thousands of Chinese civilians in cities such as Nanjing in the process. The Chinese Civil War now morphed into the Second Sino-Japanese War, and in turn, that would become a constituent part of the Second World War in later years. Kenya are about to put a pala. Deliver to two points of water, but I'm looking at Kerago, let you dance to Tadu Kibar Blomana. By the end of 1937, the communists and the nationalists were formally allied with each other again after Chiang Kai shek caved in to pressure to do so from within his own ranks. And Mao also married again around this time to Jiang Qing, an actress who would become his fourth and final wife. As an example of his growing ruthlessness, his former wife, Her Tzu Jun, was packed off to the Soviet Union, where she was placed in a mental asylum. Meanwhile, the nature of the struggle against Japan, which would play out for the next several years, was beginning to become clear. The nationalists moved inland towards central China, as the Japanese occupied the rich cities and farmland of the coastal regions of eastern China. Here, in the inland provinces, the nationalists and the communists would wage a war of attrition with the Japanese to the east for the next few years. And these were significant years in terms of the support Mao and the communists enjoyed. In the course of the late 1930s and early 1940s, Mao's Red Army ballooned in size from approximately 50,000 to nearly half a million fighters. Thus, the war with Japan was finally creating the kind of countrywide support for the Communist Party which Mao and the other leaders had failed to acquire in the late 1920s and early 1930s. Already by 1940, there were signs of Mao's communists being able to win considerable victories against the Japanese. <laughs> 
ตาวะดาเปตมาละดิมอกิสิเนอาตะลอมาบาวะกีไกอะคอมมานะกินเนเลตัดดิตะยาปะโกดอเดมาวเนเพตัดดิตะยาเพตดิเวจปะเชกต
ไม่มาเนี่ยเอาไว้ยูเอตักกว่าตายาวันนี้เนาะคันละซีอยู่อ่ะเราป่ะเราเอาไว้มาเนี่ยเราอ่ะเราเนาะเลยเต็มมาแ
In a curious twist of history, the Japanese invasion of China indirectly led to the communists seizing power in the country. Early in <laughs> Nineteen forty when Stalin handed over Manchuria to the Chinese Communist Party. Yet it would take three years of further intense fighting between the communists and the nationalists before a breakthrough was made. In September 1948, the communists secured full control of East Central China in the region south of Beijing with the capture of Shandong province in the Huaihai campaign. Then, in the winter of 1948, Mao launched the Pingjin campaign. In against Chiang Kai-shek's forces in northern China, over a two-month campaign, over a half a million nationalist troops were killed. Captured or wounded, and the north of the country was left in communist hands. The popular one is the bad to a jag log on the piano. Tadi Pan, I went long with a little bit north of the panel, long without a communist tubular. With northern China largely secured by early 1949, Mao and the Red Army commanders took the decision that spring to drive south of the Yangtze River into the heartland of nationalist-held territory. This was done despite the efforts of the Soviet leader Joseph Stalin to encourage Mao to form a coalition government with the nationalists. Stalin did not want a rival for power amongst the communist leaders, but he would soon have one. On the 23rd of April 1949, the Red Army seized the nationalist capital of Nanjing. A series of further striking gains saw Chiang Kai-shek retreat south with his remaining supporters to Guangzhou by the autumn of 1949. Just weeks later, he and the remaining nationalists decided to make a strategic retreat from the Chinese mainland to the island of Formosa, more commonly known today as Taiwan. In 
here the nationalists formed a government which they proclaimed as the continuation of the republic of china ตัวเวเนลติเวเลไทวาลานเวซูดอกกระดาวาปะโดดอกอกระดาวาอะเกวะนีซอนอลิสดอกอะเกวะปาเลตายเอกลือดอกอะตะชุมมะชุมมาเ
ตัวเนี่ยมาเนี่ยมาเนี่ยมาเนี่ยมาเนี่ยมาเนี่ยมาเนี่ยมาเนี่ยมาเนี่ยมาเนี่ยมาเนี่ยมาเนี่ยมา